Hello everyone, Morp here, and we have the Spooky Scorched event coming up, and I wanted to cover a few of the basics, a few tips, and cover this map here that I used to farm the event. Okay, so with this event, the simple gist of it is, there's a 10% chance that any location, not including interiors, that is going to have a Scorched enemy, a 10% chance that they will be one of these special Scorched they will have, like a Halloween type of costume on, and they will always be melee, so you don't have to worry about them shooting far from you. They'll come to you. When you go and kill them, they're going to drop a gift little present thingy for you. Like a little um, uh, jack-o'-lantern type thing with some candy in it and some other stuff. And if you kill the dudes, they will have a piece of legendary drop on them. Now this year, there is a list of new items that are going to be included. And here I have a link to Nuka Knight's page covering all the new stuff that's going to be coming. So let's get into this map here. Now, if you see on this map, I uh, made this with Buddy Digital Content here. This is the kind of the full map around Appalachia with everywhere that has the Scorch to spawn. Some of these obviously are going to be a lot better than other ones. Some of the hotbeds, you know, like Camden Park and Wavy Willards. And uh, there's a lot of centralized spots. But if you are going to be going around and you just want to go and check out everywhere and kind of figure out your own little pattern that you like to go, you can follow this map and rock and roll. Another big thing that you should uh, pay attention to are all of the events that have a Scorched Spawn in them, such as like Distinguished Guest, Line of the Sand. Line of the Sand is really good. Also, if you're doing Scorched Earth, you're going to fight the Queen. You're going to have waves of the spooky dudes come out, you know, stuff like Distant Thunder. Always vigilant. If it's one that has the Scorch there, that's a really great one. Collision Course is another really great one because this one actually you can go and spawn yourself. And if you have access to a private server, you can just keep resetting your private server over and over and keep rock and rolling. So other than that, there's also going to be the Trick or Treat event. During this event, you can get the Holiday Bowl, which you're going to put out at your base. And you can put candy in it. You can also go on and put on an outfit yourself, and you can go and visit players' camps. That's going to be utilized in the daily quests as well as event quests that are going to be coming up. So anyway, I just wanted to come here real quick and give you guys these little tips here. Yeah, leave a like and comment and all that fun YouTube -y stuff. And I want to give a very big special thank you to all the support that I've been getting from our channel members. Especially the Mort Town. We got Bumface Gem, Crazy Town 12, Christina, and Wendy S. Thank you guys so much. As well as everyone that's in Team Morp. All you guys have been having a lot of fun recording all the videos with you guys and everything. As well as all, everyone in the support and the entry. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you've been giving the channel. It means so much. And we will see you out there in the wasteland.